Tonight, fears growing among fire officials that wildfire season is no longer only a few months long, but the whole year. Now the deadliest wildfire. Fast moving wildfire. Tana wildfire. Fiery nightmares. With one saying he has a 24 7 catastrophic wildfire mindset these days. Any fires that we have that start here are going to go rapidly up the hillsides, uh, get caught by heavy winds, and be blown east and grow exponentially fast. Mm. Brett Gibson and Greg Schwab are both fire chiefs in Boulder County, Colorado, and they're looking for innovative new ways to fight fires that are spreading faster than usual. What do you attribute that to? We're getting hotter, drier, and windier. Um, or having more extreme weather. Those conditions, unfortunately creating the perfect recipe for Colorado's largest and most destructive fires in the last four years. Red flag warnings this spring already issued. In the U.S. alone, wildfires can cause up to $350 billion in damages annually, putting the pressure on the need to find new solutions for fire prevention and suppression. Steve Wolf, CEO of Team Wildfire, has caught the attention of fire officials with what he calls a hurricane on wheels. The idea sparked from his time as a Hollywood special effects coordinator. We took technology that had been used to make weather on movie sets and converted that to a mobile platform so that firefighters could control the wind and the rain in the microclimate where they're fighting the fire. This small jet engine, usually found on a military drone, can shoot mist, be it water or fire retardant, hundreds of miles per hour, reaching nearly 200 feet away. So this would allow us to convert any fire truck that normally just squirts water. It flows up into the mist injection chamber, <laughs> which has 180 micro jets all driving water into the center and then, it just and then it the out. jet engine exhaust just pushes it out is this also what combats all of the wind issues that they face that's right because it's, it's going faster right, right because you're pushing back with so much force and because wind that has moisture in it weighs more you can punch right into the inbound winds. With input from the fire chiefs, Wolf plans to scale up in size to devices 50 times bigger to help fight fires across an array of landscapes. I'm impatiently waiting to see the tractor mounted big rig. Only because boys and big toys. New tech like this developing across the country that can hopefully be used in conjunction with one another, like the LA Fire Department's Thermite RS3, a robot used for complex structure fires, and Lockheed Martin's AI technology used to predict a fire's path. How important is it that new technology continues to be developed given how much we're seeing in the changes of climate and the frequency of fires? We embrace all technologies. We do want to prove them. This is a very labor intensive business and everybody who's on the ground is at risk. Anything that we can do to reduce that, let's try it. New tech now giving new hope to millions who find themselves under threats of massive wildfires every year. Mora is back from her reporting trip. She is joining us now. Mora, you talk about new tech and new hope, but there is also a new timeline on this. It is not just like a post-summer heat kind of thing where we used to see wildfires spike. This is a threat that is year-round. Exactly, Hallie. And the thing that firefighters focus on when it's happening year-round is the suppression when it's actually happening, right? But also the prevention leading up to it. And the tech that we showed you in that piece actually has the ability to use that same jet engine to spray water, fire retardant ahead of time on roads or in areas where wildfires can spread easily to prevent them from jumping back and forth. And so that's something that can also be helpful for these teams, along with prescribed burns, which help reduce the fuel uh, that wildfires can spread with. So having this ability to do that safely and ease any hesitancy or trauma that a lot of neighborhoods uh, and areas where they have experienced really stark wildfires, that's a way they can ease those tensions and also tackle it safely and in a controlled way. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.